think it's a great event again this year. Um, it's a really strong field. Uh, last year was really, really strong. This year's strong. The only downside, I guess, was that, that we had a few injuries with the top Irish players. So it would have been great to have some of the Irish players in the finals and, and really get the, the crowd along with them like we did at the European Team Championships early in the month. But apart from that, I think that the level was great and um, it was really good to see some of the young players do so well in the opening days. Yeah, so again, uh, it was good to have various uh, ambassadors and the Minister for Sport, um, John Tracy from the Irish Sports Council. So again, we, you know, showing good support. So it just would, it would have been really good to have some uh, Scott or Chloe or Sam on court to really support. And um, the good thing is that the players have shown they're capable of winning at this level. So the, the timing wasn't quite right for this event, but uh, hopefully next year. Next is uh, well dressed for, uh, for Christmas and then after Christmas the, the high performance team have the European Team Championships in uh, Leuven the second week of February so I think everybody's kind of looking forward to that. Um, I know Scott and Chloe are looking forward to getting it over their injuries and getting back into training over Christmas so that uh, the team can do well in, in Leuven. Perfect and is there anything else you want to add? Well again I think uh, everybody did a great job at the event, all the volunteers so I, I wouldn't say match control or umpires or streaming because there's just so many people involved now with uh, with the event, so there's easily over 100 people. Um, so I think everybody did a great job, and um, every year the, the kind of number of people helping increases. So I think that all the volunteers did a great job, and uh, hopefully that uh, that goes down to the club level for the rest of the season. Perfect.